Well, as you can see, I grabbed two Banana Republics from the Icon line that have eluded me for years now. I've been wanting to run across these at a rack store for a long time. And they're not 20 bucks anymore, ladies and gentlemen. They have officially gone up $3. They're $22.99. Still a fantastic price, but just shows that prices are going up on everything, everywhere. So I'm going to bust these open. We'll see what they smell like. So I am going to check out Dark Cherry and Amber first and foremost. I'm quite excited. I know it's like a cherry blossom, sour cherry, praline, like just a sweet cherry scent. Look how gorgeous this dark ruby red bottle is. That's stunning. I'm sorry. That is, that is gorgeous. Let's see what we're working with here as far as the scent, though. Like I said, I kind of remember the notes, and we'll pull them up on screen after just to verify what I think I'm smelling. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, this is nice. Oh, yeah, that is good. That is really good. Oh, I love a good cherry note in the fragrance, and this is super cherry dominant. And it is a little sour. So, so I believe it is a sour cherry note. Pretty accurate here. It has a sweet gourmandy, almost candy-like sweetness. That's probably the praline. And it's ambery. I mean, well, amber's in the name. Very warm and sweet and like this sour, juicy cherry smell. This is really nice. Super unisex, too. I don't find it leans feminine. If you like sweet fragrances, I mean, <laughs> it smells like a damn good sweet fragrance. It's about... Kind of what I expected it to smell like. This is a lovely scent. I could see this being cloying in the summer, but actually for a summer evening, date night, stuff like that, I could see this working really well. This is really freaking nice. Damn, this smells good. This is a banger right here. If you like sweet fragrances. If you don't like sweet fragrances, this will be terrible for you. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's pull these notes up. Okay, so according to Parfumo, its top is black cherry and pink freesia. The heart's cherry blossom and praline. There you go. Base of cedar and red amber. Simplistic, straight, to the point. Makes absolute sense. Everything about this. The black cherry comes across a little sour, though. But damn it, if it's not just delicious... This is a delicious scent. I like this, and I really think my wife's going to like this, too. I definitely can't wait to see what she says when I let her smell it. But this is really nice. Steel for 23 bucks. Absolute steel. Even if this only lasts two to three hours on my skin, I don't care. It smells that good. I'll just refresh. I doubt it's only going to last that long, but... Oh, man, this is an addictive scent. If you like cherry, love cherry. Love the smell of cherries. This is beautiful stuff. Glad to have grabbed this one. Banana Republic, dark cherry and amber. Okay, now for the hype beast of the two. Tobacco and Tonka Bean. I don't remember the notes on this one. I've looked at it before a few times. But uh, yeah, I've, this is like the hype beast of the Icon line. This is like the one. God, this purple bottle's gorgeous too. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Really, really beautiful. All right, let's see what we're working with here. I'm sure it's supposed to be more of a sweet tobacco type of scent. I'm not a whew, robust, thick, and strong. Kind of a cigar, moist cigar type of tobacco. Definitely smell vanilla. And not exactly tobacco vanille either. Because I know every time anybody hears tobacco and vanilla, they think tobacco vanille. Not exactly. This has something else going on for the sweetness besides just vanilla. Oh, well, Tonka Bean's in the name. So there you go. Yeah, of course, it's vanilla smell. It's a little powdery. Like, already, it's a little powdery. There's something syrupy sweet about the scent. This is... I, I get the hype. This is a banger. This is too... Awesome ass fragrances. I paid $50 and some change after taxes. Absolutely worth the money here. I mean, steals at that price point. 
it's powdery. It's, it's jumping out powdery and sweet, but it's got a moist tobacco. Like you just finished licking the cigar, get your mouth on it and go ahead and light it, you know, like moist tobacco. I can't stop saying moist tobacco. It's a very damp type of smell. It's thick too. Let's pull the notes up on this one because I'm not sure. All right, so here we go. Strange plum. That's what the hell's making that sweetness. Okay, so top notes of Anjou pear, Mirabelle plum. That's interesting. Coconut and tobacco leaf in the heart. So it's definitely a leafy tobacco. That makes absolute sense. The base is vanilla and tonka bean. So it's not just so the tonka beans providing the power. The vanilla is giving the creamy vanilla sweetness. But that plum, that's what it is. That's really jumping out. I should have known it was plum with the bottle being purple. It just fits. This is a freaking banger. God, and dark cherry and amber is so good too. I am super happy with these. This is definitely not one I'm going to be wearing this summer. I'm not going to be pulling this bad boy out till the fall. This is actually going to go on the shelf and not get touched for the next few months at the recording of this. It's sad because it's a great fragrance, but... Damn, it's a good fragrance, too. It really, this is, this is a good one. Neither one of these, that's the beautiful thing about these Icon line fragrances. They don't smell as cheap as you can get them for at rack stores. They don't smell like $20 fragrances at all. At freaking all. The quality for what they are, for being Banana Republic, the quality is superb. I mean, it's not high in luxury quality, but I mean, for being a Banana Republic fragrance, you don't expect the quality you get from these two. Grassland, Metal Rain. Um, vintage green, like the quality on all of them. Leather Reserve, they're all very good. Oud Mosaic, that's really good Oud fragrance. Yeah, these are stunning. Let's give them some ratings. So Dark Amber, Dark Cherry and Amber. This uh, this is even better than I hoped it to be. It's a, about what I expected, but it's so much more rich than I expected. I anticipated a little bit fresher. It's a little bit darker. I mean, I should have known dark's in the name, but this is beautiful. This screams date night to me, specifically date night, year round too. I think this time of year, I'm going to pull this out for dinner real soon because we go to dinner at least once a week. Um, I'm saying this is a 7.5 out of 10. This is very good. I really like this one a lot. If you see this one out there, don't hesitate, especially if you like sweet, sweet fragrances, fruity sweet. Absolutely. And look, ladies, you can rock this one too. This is not overly masculine. And fellas, it is not overly feminine. It's perfectly unisex. You just got to like sweet is what it comes down to. Yeah, 7.5 out of 10. Now, tobacco and tonka bean. It's a little bit of a different story here. If I get it to focus, that would just be, that would just be stellar. I'm blocking myself. It's just not working. Oh, well, it'll focus right there. There we go. So this is, it's hard to say it's even better because I like dark cherry and amber so much, but it is even better. I like how powdery this is. It's not that often that I smell a tobacco dominated fragrance that's very powdery and fruity sweet at the same time. It's creamy, it's powdery. It's actually a little fresh. That's probably the pear. This is gorgeous. This is an eight out of 10. This is great. This is a half a point better than Dark Cherry and Amber. I'm just super impressed with these. These are the two that have eluded me the longest. And honestly, these are the two best ones. So that's my first impressions on these two beauties that I got for a steal of $22.99 a piece. They are a steal at that price point. The bottles are gorgeous. The scent profiles are freaking gorgeous. Do not hesitate to scoop these up if you see these out at the rack stores for $20, $22.99, whatever you can find them for. They're definitely much better than what you're going to pay for them. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. So I do appreciate all the feedback, and I love hearing from you guys. I know I'm late to the party. I've just been waiting to come across them. They've eluded me for a long time. I know a lot of you guys probably have these already. And if you do, what do you think about them? Do you think they're as good as I think they are? Let me know down in the comments. And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on Banana Republic Tobacco and Tonka Bean or Dark Cherry and Amber and you give them a spray now, pretty confident you'll thank me later because they're fan-freaking-tastic. Have a good one, guys.